Okay, synchronizing the audio here in a second. There it is, and it'll be a clap. So the audio is synchronized. I'm on a heading of uh, 300 or so, actually tracking the localizer only in nav mode. I'm just going to track the localizer for now and give some failures. So we're level at 3,000 feet. Autopilot is on. Localizer is captured. We're intercepting uh, 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 Lucig to Lucig on the localizer. I'm going to reduce some power, RPM. Go to 23, 23. It's a good cruise power setting. So there it is, 23, 23 or so, and 23 inches. Almost had it on. Okay, so that's a good enough power for now. Just kind of cruising uh, uh, on the localizer, and basically more. This is uh, failures of the G1000. So we'll start with the G1000 failures. We'll go to a PFD failure. So PFD failure, there it is. PFD goes away, push the red button, backs you up over here, and you have the backup uh, PFD, uh, and then uh, you can put an inset map if you want to. So just basically showing the PFD failures in that case. PFD coming back, and it comes back go back to normal on the engine gauges as you saw the engine gauges were went over there when you have the uh, display backup uh, so now uh, we're gonna go with a uh, uh, G GRS failure there's the attitude notice the autopilot went off so in that case it doesn't matter if we go over here it's still gonna show up as failed and we're gonna come up to here we're gonna fly the attitude down here so we need to fly the airplane now until we would get that back I'm going to get us get it back so now it's back I'll reset the autopilot here in a second so autopilot reset roll I'll go to nav and heading should come back over to the right looks like it's captured already altitude is coming back down to capture I'll just go vertical speed nose down a little bit looks like it's already capped. It's on pitch mode right now so I'll go vertical speed there it is vertical speed 200 that should be good enough to capture 200. I'm going to get some more failures here anyway. Um, there goes our um, called the GDC failure. So the uh, uh, pedostatic system. So we don't have any uh, airspeed, altimetry, or vertical speed. So that's it there. Again, we would go standby down here and get that one back. MFD failure, so here's our MFD. Fail the MFD right there. Bring this here. We got our engine gauges back over here. So let's see what else can we fail. We can fail the uh, comms. So comms are failed. And nav. Navs are failed. Get them back. Airspeed individually. There's the airspeed failure individually. Uh, attitude indicator failure. There's our attitude indicator failure by itself, and uh, vertical speed by itself, and altitude by itself. So if uh, pedo, uh, pedo, I mean the uh, static port portion of it has failed, so you can individually fail it or fail the entire uh, system. Three zero one inbound course, heading of about three three zero. Heading select. There we go. And there we are. All right, three three zero heading. Arm the nav. So localizer arms. It's capturing. Now we're going to fly the uh, localizer inbound, and we'll have a um, nav one radio localizer in this case failure and we'll show how that occurs all right coming up with a nav one failure it's locked in autopilot localizer we're just in level flight I'm just using a localizer for today and there's our failure the nav one went away and uh, the identifier went away 
the uh, HSI needle went away and so the, our, nav, our nav one has uh, has failed get it back there we got so we've had PFD failure the uh, Peter static system or air, air data computer failure um, what else the uh, attitude indicator failure, so various failures uh, through the uh, uh, instructor station. Okay? Alright, I think I've caught everything. If not, please let me know what I'm missing.